Indian politician openly brags about getting Muslims killed. A former legislator of India's ruling BJP party has been caught on camera gloating over the deaths of at least five Muslims who were reportedly lynched for alleged cow slaughter slash smuggling in the western Indian state of Rajasthan. Former member of Legislative Assembly, or MLA, uh, Jian Dev Ahuja, was paying a visit to the house of a Hindu vegetable vendor. Uh, who was recently lynched by a group of 20 to 25 Muslims on August 15th for allegedly stealing a tractor. In their conversation, Ahuja brought up several past mob lynchings of Muslims and spoke about the intentional killings of five people. Ahuja said that he had given complete freedom to his party's quote-unquote activists to kill anyone involved with cow smuggling or slaughter. Ahuja also reassures them that legal protection will be provided to those who carry out the attacks. Quote, we have killed five of them so far, be it in Lalwandi, be it in Behor. I have given a free hand to those workers, kill those expletive behind cow slaughter, said Ahuja in a video that went viral. Quote, we will get you acquitted. We will get you out on bail too. On Monday, August 22nd, uh, Ahuja was interrogated by the Rajasthan police for the charges of promoting religious hatred and enmity. Unbelievable. This, how, this guy's a politician. Like, this is not just a random dude. This is not just a random dude. He's like openly signaling to people that go and carry out this crime and it wouldn't be against the law. How high, yeah. up, this, how, how high up is this guy? So he was a... MLA that represented um, this, like this specific district that I could find mm. the name of in a second. And I was looking into it and um, there were at least in one year of his time as a representative of this district, there were three lynchings of Muslims. And at the time, like I went back and looked at reports of these murders at the time. Um, when these occurred between 2017 to 2018 it was alleged that his men were involved with it too wow dark is saying how is this not ethnic cleansing it is exactly i mean it's well I mean, this is what we've been talking about it's really yeah it's i mean it's not ethnic because they all have their ethnicity but it is it is genocide is well, it? ethnicity can be defined as race plus a culture. So technically, yeah, okay. although they have the same race, which is obviously a made-up construct, but they, the religion aspect of it gives it a different culture. So you could kind of construe it as a different ethnicity, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Um, by the way, this kind of this kind of speech is very popular among many. Yes like guys like i used to say that this is fringe views okay but i have been uh, like seeing a lot of things that might seem like that suggest that these opinions right now in india th these type of opinion in india is beyond fringe it used i used to try to be optimistic about it and be like even if it's a fringe group of people it's a, still a big problem so we can't ignore it even if it's fringe but i don't know like Susie has shown me some things that I don't know if we can discuss. Like I was trying to encourage her to have a segment about it, like some things that she shows me um, that indicates that these are not fringe opinions. I, you know, it's like it's becoming widespread. Let me know what you guys think, like in the live chat, how widespread do you think this kind of opinions are, especially people from India? Um, so so Aksimur is saying he got elected in district. Such as saying he's a he's like an MP, but in the state government. Yeah, so like uh, a state legislator, representing yeah. like the specific district. Cosmic Heathen, who's from India, is saying it it is mainstream. So he's like beyond widespread. He's saying it's mainstream. I don't know. Like, is the is the desire for killing Muslims mainstream? I think that's an exaggeration. I don't know. We can interchange his <laughs> people. <to say> we <laughs> can you want to read this? You read this one. This is okay, this is funny. This will lighten the mood. People been saying we can interchange his eyebrows and mustache. He would still look the same. 
Okay. I actually wanted to bring this up. This is completely, this is like slightly unrelated to the story. But Armin, for this news, I have something to show. So mm -hmm. to me, this is kind of an ironic lack of self-awareness. Because if anyone is familiar with um, like uh, kind of modern contemporary displays of like asharas and demons in Hindu culture, they are stylized in a very specific way. And you can tell in iconography, like who is supposed to be the demon, who is supposed to be the bad guy, usually based on his facial hair. So they basically have the exact same facial hair and appearance as this guy. So in the show notes, Armin, I don't know if you have it. Um, I put uh, an example of this. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. I have it ready here. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah, this one. Okay. So this, <laughs> this is a statue of Ravana, who is like the oh, demon yeah. king. Right. And he, the, the look is exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just thought that was a bit ironic. Yeah, you're right. He does look like that. It, they're stylized with these like really big eye, like um, uh, eyebrows, usually like a monobrow, and these bushy mustaches that go all the way to the ears. And that is exactly how this man has chosen to wear his mustache. It just seems a bit, it's, it's a bit coincidental. <laughs> Even Oxymoron is like, yep, she's spot on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, by the way, this is another a different demon. Um, Shake B is saying it's not Ravana. Is this not Ravana? Ravana, okay. I, Ravana has multiple heads, but he has a similar mustache. You know, uh, Shake B is saying this have, is the Ashuras okay. have similar someone mustache. Is, okay, okay someone but is look, correcting me that it's Mahi Shasura. Okay, but I have seen to be fair, Mahish. No, Mahish I'm Ashura, for images which makes of Ravana. It, yeah, no, no, it's I have an Ashura seen itself. It's labeled as Ravana. No, I know, this but like, look, look, look at the ending of his name. It suggests that this guy is like whatever he, is, whoever he is, he's also another Ashura. Because look, at, at, yeah, he's at, still an Ashura, at, definitely. Yeah, yeah, it's a, oh, it is a Bengali demon. So this guy is a Bengali demon. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Did you know oh, that Ravana this... is actually worshipped as a god in different? Um, yeah, he's by, based on, based on some myths, he's actually the good guy in the story, which makes actually. I, that's what I sense. think. Yeah. Yeah, this guy is supposed to have 10 heads, by the way. Anyways, I want to read some comments. Let me actually bring back the yeah. Because some people are gonna if they walk in, they're gonna be confused about what we're showing. <laughs> um so actually so I ask everybody if this is fringe or mainstream, okay, or something in between. Oxymoron is saying it's not fringe in law low, lower spheres of BJP, but that's India IB. What is the IB? Culture in general. Every uh, uh, in I think it's saying in no, no, everyone does it, so I don't know what that means. But somebody else is saying, Aqua is saying, desire for Hindu Rashtra is mainstream. So maybe not wanting to kill Muslim is mainstream, but wanting India to become a Hindu nation, that's what your Aqua is claiming to be mainstream. Uh, Shriash is saying, it's not mainstream, but moderates are tribalistically apologetic. Oh, okay, so I think what Shriash is saying that it's not me the desire to like be this violent towards muslims is not mainstream but the people don't that don't have this desire themselves act you know cover up you know uh, are being you know, because oh, yeah. these are the same people who are in their tribes they kind of they're kind of whitewash this bad behavior kind of like kind of like what i see like oxymoron does sometimes here like oxymoron himself doesn't desire this but he kind of comes sometimes, like maybe before, maybe not recent and recently anymore. But I see some Hindu for like they themselves don't want this, but they kind of downplay how bad the situation is. Um, Satya is saying uh, there are uh, four uh, four thousand one hundred twenty MLAs in India. I don't know what the parameter for mainstream is, but it is very very concerning. Yes, we know. Yeah, we so don't this have particular politician has a has a long history of promoting cow vigilanteism. Um, what's it called? Gal Raksha's cow protectors. He's huge into cow protectors. He openly calls for like a huge promoter of Hindu Rashtra, Hindu nation. Um, I don't know, but we'll get into it in the next story as well. Um, Cause that's also India related. It just, 
it's so concerning. Like that's an understatement. Yeah. Okay, so I, I'm going to disagree with Satya. Satya is saying mustache is a sign of masculinity. That's why they have it. The trademark of Ravana is the laughter. Mustache is common. But you don't see the good guys with giant mustache. Like if it was common, why is only the evil, like you don't you don't see uh, Rama with a giant mustache. Have you, seen, <laughs> have you seen Vishnu? Any depictions of Shiva? Any depictions of Rama? Any depictions of Krishna or, or Rama? None of them. Are have giant mustaches, so yeah, I have so seen Rama with a mustache, but it's like a small, like it's a smaller, groomed, very tight, neat mustache, not the full going all the way back to your ears, bushy mustache. <laughs> like this guy has. It was just a little too on the nose, you know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, yeah, Where's no, the self awareness? <laughs> <laughs> okay, cosmic skeptic. I'm like, Am I the only one to notice this? Skeptic, no cosmic so Cosmic heat cosmic is saying, heat kill is saying Yeah, go ahead. Killing is not mainstream just yet, but discriminating is, and we are going Yahtzee road full throttle. Well, I don't like the just yet part. Jesus. No, people are not being very optimistic. Not yet, but soon. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.